Hey, it's you. You came to watch my video. That's right. I'm going to try doing that again. Today, we're playing Princess Maker 2, as you can see up at the top of the screen right there. I'm super excited um, because this game came out uh, in like a refurbished version for Steam, and I'm a cheapo, and I downloaded it online for DOSBox. The original Princess Maker 2, the unrefurbished version. So if you guys are familiar with the refined version, I think that's what they call it, refined. Um, but this is not that, but it's a very, very similar game. Uh, and I just love it. Uh, so I'm going to be trying for the Queen ending um, currently, because I've got that one pretty down pat. It's a pretty popular one. I'm currently going through in my playthrough and like trying to get all the endings, even the boring ones. <laughs> um, and uh, if you hear musical instruments, it's because I'm in a practice room at my school. So we're going to begin a new game. Oh, I'm going to have to save over something. Dang it. Oh well. Okay, my last name is McLaughlin. I'm not even going to hide that because it's in all my other save files. So uh, my name will be McLaughlin for this game. So yeah, if you're playing this, just know that McLaughlin, or sorry, <laughs> just know that McLaughlin is my name. Just know that the family name will be how they refer to you. So, I mean, you could give it a first, you could give your daughter two first names because your name will also be her last name, which is maybe how things worked in medieval times. I'm not really sure. Oh, and if you hear a lot of like scratchies, like it's cause I'm recording with my laptop mic and I'm also using my laptop to move my mouse around. Like I, I'm a broke college student. Just you cut me some slack. Okay, so my daughter's first name, uh, I like the name Electra, which is a Greek name. Uh, but the thing is, okay, there's a myth about Electra, and there's a lot of murder in that myth, but there's no incest. Uh, but it's weird because they make it the Oedipus complex, that's like where, that's a Freudian thing where like, boys want to marry their mothers or something like that. Supposedly it happens to all of us, I don't know. But then the female version of that is the Electra Complex, so I can't name a real child that. Uh, but it's a pretty name and I'm mad about it. So I always name my imaginary daughters Electra. Uh, and her birthday, this is important, her birthday is going to be the 1st of October to give us the most time possible to prepare for the Harvest Festival, which is how we're going to make most of our money. This game is like a stats game. Uh, and for this game, my my age is 30. <laughs> I'm not 30, but that's what we're gonna say for this, this game. And my birthday, I'm just gonna choose a random birthday. And my daughter's blood type. Oh, this is important too. A will raise your daughter's morality by three points every month, and they'll also raise her stress by two points every month. And she will never do her smiling animation, uh, which is sad, but I like it. Um, not that she doesn't smile, the, <laughs> the bonuses, I think they're worth it. Um, type B, I think, lowers her stress by two every month. Type O does nothing, and I have no idea what type AB does. I'll just be upfront, I don't know what it does. But we're gonna go with type A, because we need morality. It's important. And I'll be honest, I usually skip past this part. Um, but that's okay. <laughs> Is the, so the story is um, the setting up the kingdom where we live and my significance to the king. I like how it says the Lord, like the Christian God, like that's how they refer to it, the Lord with the capital L, because the rest of this game is full of like deities that aren't, like it, none of them are called the Lord, so I just think that's really interesting. He never comes back again. Okay, so then... And they don't even call it Lucifer. Like in this game, the devil is Lucifron. Like, yo, you can't, has to be like PG. I don't understand this game, but it's super fun. Um, yeah, so the devil's attacking the city because God was like, uh, 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 you're too arrogant. But then I am a wandering swordsman. I'm a swordsman. And I threw myself into the battle. Uh, and I, 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 I murdered the devil, but he came back, you know, because that's just what the devil does. Uh, I actually can't remember why I'm fighting for the people. It's been divinely ordained attack. I killed only- ouch! 
Imagine if someone stormed into like- <laughs> That's true, I don't know how to respond. Imagine if someone stormed into like, Toronto. Like, I'm from Canada, right? So if somebody storms into Toronto and just like, murders millions. And, and then he's like, ah, they're all fools. All right, I saved the city and the king is recognizing his ill deeds. Don't worry, we'll get into some actual gameplay soon. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm the queen and, and I'm also here because women totally aren't overlooked in medieval times, you know? <laughs> Yeah, Princess Maker 2, if it was, like, realistic, you'd just be, like, a housewife and that's it. Like, you can't get any of the fun endings. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, I, I came to live in the castle because I am a great warrior. <laughs> totally believe that. That's something you need to know about me in real life, is that I am an amazing warrior. Alright, and then I was compelled by the mystical force of the universe to go for a walk so that I can get a daughter. An angel daughter. I feel like... I don't know, it's like... Oh, you're a great swordsman. Here's a baby girl. It's like these things don't connect at all. It's just the bare minimum plot that you need to get started on the game, which like, I respect that. And the art is beautiful, so. And I wish I had hair like that. Honestly, she has great hair. Oh, I also like having being born in October for her because her patron deity is Venus, and then if you beat the war god, she gets charisma, and if you're at a level where you can fight the war god, then you probably haven't done too much work on raising charisma. You've probably been running it into the ground, actually. So it's, you know, convenient for good marriages later on. Because, like, I have been planning from my daughter's 10th birthday who she's gonna marry, you know, as you do. I guess it is medieval times. <laughs> this game is so weird, but I love it. Okay, a year passes. Yeah, okay, she grows up. Come on, get to the game. Press maker two, we're going, we're doing this. Okay. Uh, okay, she's healthy and happy, and she has like, no stats right now. I'm gonna be walking you through what the stats mean and stuff, because some of them are weird, like sensitivity, especially charisma. I'll just- spoiler alert, charisma is basically sex appeal, which is really scary for her to have that stat at 10, but you know what? Let's just ignore that. We're not gonna think about that too much. Uh, so the first thing I always do, other than just say hi to my daughter, she feels great, that's lovely. Um, Oh my goodness, I set my music so loud, but I'm afraid to turn it down in case it'll mess up um, the, the editing process. <laughs> it's so loud. Okay, we gotta buy her these dresses because if we don't, then she'll freeze or get heat stroke and then she'll get sick and stressed and we can't have that. This is a very tight playthrough, okay? Um, right, so I've got my notes on the side of the screen here. Uh, la, 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 la. Okay, the first, okay, we're not going to be able to win the Harvest Festival, any of them, until the second year. I know some people like to, um, I need to get better at, like, <laughs> playing and talking. Uh, that's what a YouTuber is, right? Some people like to run out into the desert and get, um, the money that's there, because it's a very lucrative zone. Uh, but I've never figured out how to get the money to give her art lessons uh, in the first year because she's so weak. Like, I'm sorry, Electra, but you're kind of a wuss. I mean, she's also 10, so I guess I should cut her some slack. Uh, huh. So yeah, she didn't do good at all with the farm work. Basically what I'm trying to do is build up her, uh, her constitution so that she can take some stress without becoming a delinquent. So I always end the month at the beginning of the game with rest so that she won't run away or like become a gang member or something. Aww, look at her little face. Oh, I love her. Okay, I'm gonna save just just to be safe. See, this was my queen, my previous queen file. I'm gonna save over that one. 
It's fine. We're gonna become queen again. It's, it's okay. Um, don't ask me why I named her Sarah Moore. <laughs> you just decided for a change of pace, you know? Okay, so she's- we're gonna give her more constitution. Work. Bar no. Work. And then- okay, so then the housework. What we're doing with the housework is that, um... Oh, and the farm work also makes us some money once she, like, stops sucking. Like, there, she's working well today. Perfect, you know? Oh, she got hay in her hair. I'll love to clean that out when she gets home. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. She's building up her constitution so she won't get sick from working too hard. And she's building up her cooking, temperament, and cleaning stats here. Now, this is very important because I figured out that you can win the cooking contest in year two. Oh, see, this is why our winter dress is important. Because she's not stressed, and she's not sick, and she's all good. I'm a good parent. And this, talking to her... Oh, they do. I think they do. They look very warm. <laughs> talking to her raises her relationship with her father, so me. There is an ending where you can marry your daughter, uh, which is kind of gross. It's very gross, actually. Um... Oh, oops, okay. It's very gross, uh, but it's a thing you can do. They really did give you that option. Uh, and But you can't do it if your relationship with your father is low, and you also can't do it unless her charisma, intelligence, and refinement are double her morality. And to be a good queen, she has to have 500 morality, so it's technically impossible. I mean, I think... I'm not sure what the, the rules are. I think... Okay, no, you can get the... You can marry your father if you're the queen, but you have to have a low morality and be bad at your job, so that kind of sucks. Alright, no pocket money because I'm cheap and broke. I like, why don't I make money? I'm the dad. I'm not gonna really read what she's saying because I've already read it <laughs> a lot of times. Okay, okay, so we're gonna switch to church work because, like I said earlier, her morality needs to be higher than. Turpy has to be a really high stat for her to get a good ending as the queen. So we're gonna start with that, and it's also important. Uh, we're gonna marry the prince? Let's try to marry the prince. You know what? We're gonna try to marry the prince. I hadn't decided. Like, if I fail... Okay. So sad. But we're gonna try and marry the prince. <laughs> what was I saying? I was saying- I thought I wouldn't have anything to talk about, but I know so much about this game. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So you can be a really bad queen and marry your father, which, like, okay, that makes sense to me. But we're raising her morality here with church work also, so she won't become a delinquent if she gets stressed. As she can go and join a gang. That is a thing she can do. Oh, this guy. Oh, it's a fortune teller. Never mind. Uh, I know what I'm doing. Go away, fortune lady. Uh, how are you doing, babe? Oh, I was supposed to give her pocket money. Um... Oops. So it's, um, okay, I'm gonna reload. <laughs> I'll see you in a second. All right, so I think this is where we were. I was talking about how I might want to marry the prince. Okay, so I'm gonna do the month that I, um, just didn't do. Or, uh, sorry, that I just, okay, she doesn't want to talk to me. That's fine, she doesn't have to. Uh, I'm gonna do the month that I was just talking over, um, with housework and housework. Uh, now what I didn't say about the housework, <laughs> I keep getting distracted because I know so much about this game. Okay. You can see her faith and her morality are going up, which can be a problem if you're trying to get an ending where morality has to be higher than faith, which is actually a couple of things. It's tricky. I made a whole plan and it worked and I was so proud of myself. Anyway, this is raising not only her cleaning and her temperament, but her cooking and that's the important thing because uh, she needs a high cooking to win the Harvest Festival. And she needs to win the Harvest Festival because that gets us money. I don't know why I don't just work, because I'm her dad. I don't know why I make her, like why don't I go to the working places with her? Anyway, you can see we finished the month with some stress. It's because housework and church aren't very stressful jobs for her. So um, it doesn't matter if she's got, like they're not gonna exceed her threshold for delinquency and sickness. So I gave her money. What that did is made her all stressed. You saw that. Uh, we're going back to work. We're doing the same thing. Church. Work. Oh! No! I have to go visit the prince! <laughs> the 
Never mind. Okay, so, um, you can get discounts at the store if you talk to these people, but I'm not cool enough yet. All right. Uh, he's the prince. He doesn't do any work. You shouldn't talk about your job. My daughter is totally a mini me. Because <laughs> I'm like, always nitpicking things people are saying. Okay, we're gonna promise to see him next year. Oh, you shouldn't think about your job like that. Like, that's totally something I would say. I try to be nice. Sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, okay, so we're gonna work. We're gonna work. We're gonna work. Put her to work. Get to work! So yeah. Morality, so she doesn't turn delinquent. And, cause like, that's a word people use. But I know it's like a Japanese thing. I don't think- I'm not sure if- You guys will have to let me know. Do people in Japan actually, like, have a word comparable to delinquent? Is that the one that they use? Or is it just a trope in anime? Like, is it just a, a mag is it like a fantasy trope? Delinquent. <laughs> I mean, I know like rebels are fantastical, but I mean, I guess they kind of are. You can romanticize being a punk. I'm punk. I'm totally punk. I'm playing Princess Maker too. Uh, okay, we'll do a few more months and then I'll, I'll wrap things up for next episode. Actually, I'll save it here. I feel like I've given you enough uh, ranting and I will record another episode just right now. Um, Secret Sisters, what was my thing that I was gonna call you? I can't, I can't use Secret Sister anymore. You know why? Because James Charles happened. I was, I'm mad about it. Actually, I'm not because I never really liked that. <laughs> anyway, that was stupid. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.